Welcome back to Alaskan Savage. And we're here in Southeast Alaska, um, chasing some sick of blacktail. Late in the year, it's really close to Thanksgiving. And uh, I'm just gonna go over some calls with you. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. We're gonna do a lot of fawn bleats. I'm gonna show you. Um, well, there's a lot of varieties. I use flag and ribbon, which I use a lot. Anything in Southeast Alaska with four legs besides a moose, um, this fawn bleat is productive on bears, wolves. Um, you get up a little bit farther and you'll get into foxes. Um, you can use it on coyotes. Uh, we don't have any coyotes, but uh, in this area, um, it works really well. There's uh, a couple different thicknesses of ribbon. I like the real thinner one, and I don't go hunting anywhere without some kind of source of uh, a fawn bleat. Um, this is a really thick piece of ribbon. It sounds a little different. Thinner piece of ribbon. It can work. I've used dollar bills in a pinch. Um, just got to rough up the edges. Break it up. Um, there's a ton of manufacturers out here. Fawn bleats. There's a little tube one. It works good. Here's a homemade. Uh, it's just got some flagging ribbon in the inside of it. Two pieces of wood trim from your house. Um, there's a variety of little flappers. This one you can bite and change the pitch, which is kind of handy. This one, um, also you can bite and change the pitch if you want. There's all kinds of squeaky toy ones too. This one's a, this one's made by Drop Shot, it's pretty good. I've got a buddy here locally on the island too. He runs uh, Island Calls, does a really good job. Does a lot of stuff with Devil's Club. Um, little burrows off of some of the trees, which is pretty cool. But he does diaphragm uh, base calls and the squeaky toy calls, but uh, these ones And then this is out of just of a dog's chew toy um, I usually put them in a pen or a chunk of wood um, Just took it out of one of the dog's squeaky toys and it, it works good um, You're calling these deer this time of year. You're wanting to call in a doe, and hopefully she's hot, and uh, you've got a buck right on her. Um, in the early part of the season, you won't get the bucks coming to you as much, but you'll get them to stand up, take a look. You'll call the does in. Um, you'll find out where the deer are. This one's made by Drop Shot. It's a. Uh, it's pretty famous but uh, you don't have to go with it but there's so many different styles of these calls but in southeast Alaska um, hunting deer bear wolves um, everything comes to these fawn bleeds and uh, I won't go in the woods without it but so when you're out here and you come up or or you've never been to southeast alaska before definitely invest in a fawn bleat or start to practice a little bit with a piece of ribbon you can change it up so much just by adjusting the tension on it Just by adjusting the tension, it changes the pitch. Now, if you were to ask me which one of these I prefer, 
Um, this one is probably my go-to because I'm not afraid of losing it. I can change the pitch at any time. These ones are really nice if you're hunting with an archery. Which, which one sounds the best? Um, whichever one calls in the animals because you can set up and make a call with a really low raspy toned one and then they'll come flying in and the next place that call might not work so you can change it up and go to a higher pitched one and they'll come right in um, sometimes you can call them in and they lose interest and they want to leave and you can change up the pitch by grabbing a different call or adjusting the tension on your ribbon and uh, it makes a difference so if you're coming to southeast alaska or you're wanting to know more about deer calling here check it out um, check out the fleet try it you won't be disappointed but if you like any of this stuff uh, please subscribe please give me a comment let me know what you think i just want everybody to be successful and have fun in the outdoors and uh, whack them and stack them and know where your meat comes from you guys have a good day.